All right, fresh off a win. If you take a look at the calendar versus Udinese, there's the Euro League schedules on there. So we've got Heron Hyven, um, and we just beat uh, Udinese three nothing. So with that being said, we take a trip to rainy Stadio Azzoria, Azzori, to take on Atalanta under the nights. Just miserable pitch conditions. Um, should be should be a relatively tough game. Um, maybe this this rain could potentially slow down some of our counter attacks, negate some of our speed. But you see, comes back with five goals in his last match. It's just just been incredible for us. Um, we thought about bringing in Lukaku, but with the way he's playing, I mean, it's just I don't think I can do it. But take a look at Atalanta. They come out in the four three three. Not too many recognizable names, maybe Drame, maybe Sport Yellow and Gold. Um, but, you know, they're, they're a capable, they're a mid-table squad. Um, nice unis, the, the black and blue. But let's take a look at Milan. Um, no huge changes in the side. Still Zapata, Rom, I mean, Romagnoli and Zuma. Um, Hakan. Bertolacci does come back. He was on suspension for the last match. Um, but El Shawari, Barardi, and back up top with Hakan right behind them. So... We will, you know, we'll we'll go with what works. Hopefully, we'll try to be a little bit more stable. Maybe we'll, we'll play a bunch of formations in the in the cups and the Euros. But we're in early back up. Oh, just great job of just adjusting to it. Second minute goal, trying to best his goal from last the Udinese match. But take a look, left footed. I mean, keeper just great save by the keeper. Sport yellow gets fingertips to it. But we're in. 15th minute, 16th minute, Mkhitaryan driving forward, great ball through to Baca, Baca shot, ah, oh, just goes wide, and he is, I mean, he's hunt, he's hunting shots right now, so, just take a look, ah, oh, narrowest of margins, but, 28th minute, Mkhitaryan again, just driving us forward, just beating defenders, plays in El Shawari, El Shawari shot in on goal, gets deflected, maybe a little fortunate, but, Opens up his Milan account, and after being out on loan last year, just was really looking forward to him coming back. I was trying to contemplating last year whether or not to make a move for Lucas from PSG since he's kind of the odd man out up there, but I knew we had this guy coming back, so I just said, you know what, let's just hold on to the money. And yeah, very fortunate off the defender, off the keeper, but hey, he got into the position, so you know, can't blame him, but. Atalanta with some nice, a nice through ball. And Diego Lopez, oh, Carmona shoots wide. Probably should have been shooting across goal, but Diego Lopez did a pretty good job. Let's take a look. Just really scuffed it. Job of standing tall. But 70th minute, Berardi, who's been kind of the forgotten man, even though we brought him in last year, just looked, just beating everyone. Just one guy, two guys, three guys. The dummy fake. And then the full left footed finish into the back of the net from the ex Sassuolo man who we bought last year in January, just, oh, look at the pace, look at the dribbling, the, the move, and then the composure at the end, to just pretty much pass it into the back of the net, um, just, you know, if we can get both him and Chawari and back and going, oh, it's going to be rough, long day, but there's Abate in the box, plays it across the back of, back of shot, and you know what, when you've got good, when you're on good form, Stuff like that happens where tight angles mean nothing. You take a look. Just great job by by Abate to turn. And then back of one touch, controls it, spins, shoots it off the top of the crossbar, off the defender. So two fortunate bounces for us. And just like that, we're up 3-0 again. Looking for more with El Shawari driving forward. Timo Werner has come on. Driving at the defender. Oh, cuts in and Delisandro just takes his legs out from underneath him. A clear and obvious penalty. You know, no protest from the from the uh, Atalanta player, but you take a look. Oh, just terrible. What is he? This is horrible. That's that's a, a winger's challenge inside the box. And Baca steps up to, to take the penalty to, to hopefully add, get his brace, add to the lead. And his shot. Oh, saved Sport Yellow right to the keeper, and that's how things end. Three nothing away, six goals for us on the year. No goals allowed. Clean two clean sheets, successive clean sheets in a row. So just 
great. Couldn't ask for a better start. We got the Super Coco win. We got the International Cup Champions win. And then we've got two, three, nothing clean sheets to start the, the year out. No injuries. Uh, 12 shots on target, or 12 shots on goal, 7 on target. Mkhitaryan putting in a man of the match effort. No goals for him, but I think he had but one assist and just kind of just set the paces. We gave Akan a little bit of a rest to, uh, to help um, prepare for the, the EuroLeague. But we do, we are going to go ahead and accept the, the job for Brazil. I mean, how can you turn down Neymar and Oscar, William, Coutinho, and Hulk? David Luiz, Thiago Silva, all those guys. So I know it would be a lot of pressure, but, you know, we're, we're, I'm excited about that. I won't broadcast too many of the games. Maybe just a few highlights here and there until we get to the World Cup or maybe the, the Copa America. But we're back into it with Genoa. Unfortunately, the PBR kind of crapped out on this one. So we will uh, – it will only show, I think, 20 minutes. As you can see, the pixelation is kind of shitty on it. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll try to get in as much as we can. For this particular one, but you know, here we come, big match for another um, for a Euro League. But Carlos Baca been kind of the the, the man in form. Um, just been man a hell of a player for us so far this year. To see standing next to El Sabari. Take a look at our lineup that we brought out. No big changes except for. Neves comes in for Dijon. Poli also comes in as well, but Zapata deputizes for not deputizes, but he comes in for for Zuma. So there's a, a few changes as we we do a little bit of squad rotation. But um, take a look at Genoa starting eleven. Um, no big names. Diego Capel, probably Diego Parada. Kuka who actually plays for uh, Milan in real life. So that left side's not too bad. But three in the back, we should be getting the better of them. I think we only got 20 minutes of game action in this one. Um, and I don't want to spoil anything, but take a look. Parati's in early. Tashidas slips him in, and just Zapata with just an excellent step in. And like that, we're on the counter. Mikatarian plays in. El Shawari. El Shawari plays in back, just skips by the defender, and his left footed finish into the back of the net. So he just cannot stop scoring. As you see, the general defender is just left over. What do you do? I have no idea. Maybe. One, you can not let him slip in right there and then take that many touches inside the box without closing down. But we get the early one goal lead, and like I said before, unfortunately, this is kind of where the PVR craps out. The, the match did finish 2 nothing as we see one last chance for us. Mkhitaryan slides in. Neves and Neves is trying to get off the duck and just unfortunately puts it off the side or puts it on the post. But we do win 2 nothing. We'll go ahead and, and we'll stop this episode here as we get ready for some EuroLeague action coming up soon. Thanks, guys.